Hey everyone! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Welcome to Wives Wind Down! Yes! Welcome, welcome, welcome! It is Wednesday. It is time to grab your girls, grab your ladies, um, and just come along for the ride for Wives Wind Down! Yes! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Hey Shar, how are you? Yes, hey Shayla! Welcome, ladies. Come on into the room. Come on into the room. I'm so excited for tonight. Hi, Lexi and my Wives Wind Down family. Um, I'm so excited. As you can see, we got a little mini makeover. Okay. Yeah, so that has me like extra excited. Thanks to my husband who helped me with this. Yes. So I'm so excited to be here. We're doing some upgrades and we have some things in the works. So make sure you give me feedback and let me know like if there's some things you want to see in the future. Hey, hope I see you, girl. Let me know um, and we'll try to make that happen, especially as I consider, you know, different other platforms. So y'all just keep it real with me and let me know because I know my wives right now, family. Y'all gonna hold it down. Y'all gonna keep it real. So welcome again. If you are first timers, welcome to Wives Wind Down. If you are some of my day ones, hey, princess. I appreciate you all every other week and coming here. Some of you all have been here since the beginning. So thank you so much for supporting. For those of you all who don't know me, I'm Shonda White and I am the host. And I actually birthed this just out of, um, I remember when I like first got married and I felt like overwhelmed about like being a wife and being married. And I was like, okay, what does that mean to like be married? And now that I'm, I'm married now, like, what does that mean to be a wife? And sometimes I would feel like overwhelmed. Like if me, me and my husband were going through things and I feel like, oh my gosh, like what's wrong with my marriage? Like, is something wrong with me? Not knowing that like some of those growing pains were normal, but sometimes you feel alone and you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm alone. I don't know if this is normal. And then once I started talking to other wives, they're like, oh girl, yeah, that's fine. Like, You'll be fine. You'll make it through. And I was like, well, why didn't anybody tell me this? So I birthed this during the pandemic, uh, the panoramic, and I decided to create an outlet where we could just come, keep it real, whether you're single, whether you're married, whether you want to be married, and maybe you're just like, I don't know about this marriage thing. I wanted to pull back that curtain on marriage and share the highs and the lows and just keep it real about what it takes and have fun about what it takes to not only just get married, but also to stay married. So that is why I'm here and I appreciate you all for being here. This is a safe place and we like to kiki and we like to have fun. Make sure you grab your drinks. And if you missed part of it, you can catch the replay, which will be available at the end. But make sure you grab your drink so we can toast at the end and just have fun. And also make sure to drop your questions if you have them, especially because tonight we have a phenomenal guest, everyone. I'm so excited. So let me bring on our guides. And I hope y'all are doing well, despite all the craziness that's going on this week and just this whole year, just everything. I'm sending positive. You know <laughs> I am ready. Girls' night. Wives wind down. Yes. <laughs> Kiki and everything. Ladies, I'm here. I cannot. I am here. I am ready to talk about it, girl. I can't. I can't. I can't. Let's I can't. talk about it. No? No. No, it's Goodbye. not. It's not what we're doing. No, this is it's not, not what we're doing. <laughs> Forgive, forgive him okay. you know i can't i honestly can't i'm done i am I'm done. choking oh my god what am i gonna do i don't know <sighs> oh gosh <laughs> Oh, gosh. You know we had to bring a little entertainment to this thing going on here. Listen, <laughs> this is why I love y'all to pieces. Like, oh, I gosh. was not even ready. I should have been ready, but you I should have. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when, look, when he came out, I was like, babe, why is your wig so high? Like, it's just sitting right on top. Like, <laughs> didn't bring it down at all. <laughs> he said, I'm ready. He yeah. did. No. I mean, the way he was just swaying. I can't. He thought can't. he was ready, but that wig wasn't ready. It, it wasn't. wasn't ready. It wasn't laid. It wasn't. It wasn't ready. <laughs> when I tell you, I have. All, I expected this to be an incredible night, but this right here. Oh gosh. Oh, I cannot. I'm, I'm like, you. oh, mascara, please don't ruin because <laughs> I am literally crying. Like, oh my gosh. I. 
can't do nothing with them, to be honest. You can't live with them. You can't. And this is why I wanted you on. Because, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to get myself together. Because that's, <laughs> I, listen, I live to laugh. And I love y'all pieces and y'all's videos. Aww. So for y'all to come out with that <laughs> intro, bravo. <laughs> So thank you. Thank you for even asking me to be a part of this. I mean, listen, I'm super excited. No, thank you. Because I know you are booked and busy. Because <laughs> listen, you all, there, somebody asked me today, they was like, oh my gosh, like you having hope on your wise one down. They was like, I saw her videos before. I'm like, yes, girl, we've all seen their videos. <laughs> like we live for their videos. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank yes. you. Appreciate it. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. gosh. I'm so hot about that was like, I know. I'm going to laugh for the rest of the I can't wait to show Eric. And, and the gift is that if you save this recording, you get to see it forever, Shonda. It's yours. <laughs> it's I can't. Like, I want to. I don't want this to go by too fast, but I also cannot wait to retake right. this. <laughs> Wait, um, tilt it. He just won't let you have a girls' night, will he? He just won't. he won't. But I sent him away, so he shouldn't be making any more appearances tonight. Well, so he we is be more good. than welcome to <laughs> join us in the chat and support his wife, oh, or he can let you have your girls' night. But Thank you. without further ado, let me introduce you to the people. <laughs> for those who may not know, and for those of y'all who are just joining, if you missed the intro, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna hit that replay because Watch if. The if that's the temperature, somebody said he had me on the floor. That wig on top of his head. On top. It was not ready. It wasn't late. It was just sitting like a lap dog, just up here. Just just here. <laughs> and he almost got me because I'm like, all I saw at first was the wig. So I was like, Hi. And I, yeah. <laughs> Your face was priceless, though. I, I want to watch the replay and take it all in and watch it. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Jackie said she missed, listen, don't worry, y'all know I got y'all with the replay, but when I tell y'all, <laughs> you're going to lose it. My Wise Wind Down family, you're going to lose oh, it. Oh, gosh. This is Wise oh. Wind Down history in the making, okay? <laughs> oh, Love now it. I want every, every episode to start like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. We are ready. And just, and just, oh, um. You know, the put piece it together to your oh stuff. My God. This is why I love y'all. Okay, let me get myself <laughs> together. Uh -huh. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus, for that laugh. Um, <laughs> let me introduce you to the people for those who may not know. Yes, Hope Watson from Richmond, Virginia, married her best friend, whom she's known <laughs> since middle school. Oh my goodness! Amid the global corona, Ugh, I can't talk coronavirus <laughs> pandemic. Together, they co-founded Every Day with H and K in which they are committed to inspiring healthy relationships through love and laughter for people across the globe. Together, their content includes photos and videos of comedic skits, dancing, real conversations, and everyday living, which continues to inspire thousands of people daily, including myself. <laughs> Everyone, clap it up in the chat. Give it up for Aww, Hope. Thank Woo! you for having me. So no, excited. thank you so much. <laughs> so first of all, before we even get into you all's brand and your page and everything in your channel. How are you doing? How have you been? I have been good. Like, and I know like a lot of people say that, but I actually mean it. Like I, I've been really good. Um, busy, of course, but like just taking it all in. Like life has changed over the past year and it's just been like overwhelming, but it's been one of those things that it's a good overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So it's like, God is just, dumping stuff on us right now we're like okay i think we have enough you know we're ready to receive it but then you question am i and then you know so you go through those things and those moments but other than that it's good it's a good busy so can't complain to be honest <laughs> yeah you said a word right there about how god will drop stuff in your life and then you know it's from god but there's just right. something that self-doubt that fear that creeps in and it makes you question yes. like but, I mean, yeah. am, am I supposed to be? And you're like, this is what you pray. Even if you pray for it. Let's uh, talk about that piece. Because mm. we pray for it and we ask for signs and he sends us signs left and right. And you're like, one more sign. Then he sends you that one. And you're like, well, one more sign. And it's like, how many signs does God need to give us before we just <laughs> totally submit and accept what he has for us? But um, yeah, so that's where I've been personally on the last year, probably mm -hmm. since this whole pandemic has started. But Wow. It's good. <laughs> That's a blessing. I love it. Speaking of the panoramic, 
<laughs> you and Cadero started Everyday with HK during like the pandemic. So yes. take me back to like when you all were like, were you just chilling on the couch or were you like, like take me back to that moment to how it all yeah. started. Yeah. So how it started was we got word that we were about to experience this global pandemic um, with Cadero's job. They uh, told them to work from home. So Cadero started working from home. We started seeing each other, Shonda, every day, 24 seven, <laughs> all the time. And don't get me wrong. Like I love my husband, but there's times that it's like, you kind of miss, you know, them going to work and it gives you the opportunity to miss them a little bit. So it was like, we were just seeing a lot of each other and we <laughs> were like, um, we need to do something else because all we were doing was working from home or watching TV or eating. And it was like, those were the main three things. Yeah. And I was like, Kadero, like we need to spice it up, you know, add something new into our whatever list of things we were doing that day. And so we were always fans of TikTok and we were like, oh, well, you know, we'll just, let's just try one. Like how hard can it be? Right. And let me tell you, some of them, we were wrong because they are hard. Hard. <laughs> Hard. They are super hard. But um, it was like, well, we can do that. You know, it's just dancing or, or mimicking words or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we do our first TikTok and it was actually like a date night. So we were like getting ready and we like did this like little dance getting ready for date night. Um, and then we posted it and saw like some cute little comments. We we're like, oh, okay, cool. You know, people may be feeling us a little bit. Right. Because to begin with, honestly, like our page was mainly for, we had this page probably since 2018. And at the beginning, it was just like places we've traveled, food mm -hmm. we've tried, date nights, and literally had like 243 followers at that point. And it was mainly family and friends that was just like, oh, that's cute. You know, yeah. I see y'all went yeah. to Mexico. That's nice. So it was like, okay, cool. So then we started posting our uh, TikToks and they started getting consistent. And then we were like, um, oh, you know, people are laughing. Like they, let's give them some more, right? <laughs> we were like, okay, what else can we do? So then we just started being consistent with it. Mm -hmm. And the more and more we were consistent with it, we were like, oh, people are laughing. Like mm -hmm. people think we're funny. And I was like, this is so weird because this is what we do naturally, but it's just that we flip the camera on, right? Yes. So um, we were just consistent with it. And I was just like, well, you know, I know I need to laugh during this pandemic because mentally I was just like, what does this pandemic look like? You know, I'm paranoid mm -hmm. and need my mask and like all that stuff. So it was an outlet, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And it was one of those things that I was like, let's just have fun. Like, let's just mm -hmm. do something different. Literally long story longer we just kept like doing it being consistent and people were like you know you guys are making me laugh like i've had anxiety you guys are making me laugh you guys are helping me out of my depression you guys are helping me i just buried my father last week and i haven't laughed since then so like those messages but shonda like honestly the one that got me was this woman that had <clears throat> she has an autistic son Aww. and said that he doesn't really express himself at all and she was watching one of our videos and he came running and started showing emotions and when she told us that we were just like literally tears were falling because i was like here we are just thinking we're being ourselves which we were but it was something that it was affecting households and affecting moments between mother and child or like you know people that are going through things and i was like okay god what are you doing because this is more than TikToks at this moment and it was just putting a light on a positive relationship mm -hmm. showing people what God's loves looks like and what marriage can look like because a lot of times marriage can get a bad rep or like oh it's the old ball and chain or yep. you know marriage is wet and I'm like it, honestly it's not like it's, it's, not. it's, it's cool you know <laughs> if you want it it, it can mm -hmm. be great um so it was just one of those things that I was like Kadero let's just let's just do this. And, and he won. He loves acting. Like, I think if he wasn't full time with his job yes. that he's in now, like, that would be what he does. Um, so he loves acting. So it was just the outlet, to be honest. But then mm -hmm. we just started seeing how God will use our natural and our authentic selves to mm -hmm. just bring a smile to people's faces. So I was like, well, we can't stop now. Like, we impacting a lot of people, like people are laughing. And that's something we need to do, you know, so we just kept it going. And here we are a year later and wow. have grown. And that, that 243 followers went to tell them, sis. <laughs> yeah, we're at about 132,000 right now. It's crazy. All within one year. 
So I don't even, I, we can't take the credit for that at all. Like there's no way humanly possible that mm -hmm. we did this on our own. Like it's definitely God ordained. So, Listen, y'all yeah. not about to take me out in these comments tonight, but someone said, thank you, uh, Mama Mac. I'm going to think Mama Mac 907, you said y'all so cool. And Andrea Haywood 18 says, I have cancer and you guys got my mind off my sickness. I love watching you guys. Y'all not trying to take me out tonight. Don't do it. Because I'm a crybaby at heart. So don't, don't do it. Me too. It doesn't take much. <laughs> it doesn't. It does not take much at all. So but yeah. That's it's, right it's, there. So it's it's, it's those moments. It's those. And like you said, you, you know that's divine and that's god because yeah what i think what we all appreciate because i love you guys i think i forgot what first video i saw and i was like why haven't i been what like <laughs> why didn't i know they existed because i'm always like looking for couples i'm like where they at where they at yeah like, where, where's my tribe where's my wifey trap and i'm like <laughs> yep just to see y'all in the authentic authenticity and it's so relatable like there hasn't been a video you made where i was like no nah, i'm like yep you <laughs> right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you right <laughs> But then to hear yeah. that message about like bringing laughter and joy, especially during a sickness and yeah. that right there, I hope that you feel the love and I hope mm -hmm. that you know just how powerful and impactful it has been. And mm -hmm. even to that point, I know that you guys pour so much into us, like, mm -hmm. and we are so grateful for it. Cause I mean, mm -hmm. and Eric, Sometimes I'll share videos with him like like the church jokes like that people he don't get them because he ain't with me. like he, he and I'll be like <laughs> right <laughs> but when he sees y'all videos and then when we got to you know talk with you all and stuff yeah on the panel, yeah he's like rolling so I oh. appreciate that but you all are pouring so much into us what are you guys doing to make sure that you pour into each other oh gosh it's so crucial because that's one thing that we don't want to ever do is get like burnt out mm -hmm. so for, like for mm -hmm. us it's so crucial to feed ourselves individually and that's mm -hmm. spiritually is what i'm talking about so like yes. getting in your word um for like me and Kadera, we have our own private time so whether that's me in the word me with the devotional, me with worship time with God. Like I have to fill myself up. If I don't fill myself up, then Kadero sees it, the world will see it because mm -hmm. I'm a different person. Like I get irritated more quickly. Like it's just mm -hmm. a wrap. If I don't have food and God and sleep, like I'm done. <laughs> I'm yeah. done. So it's just one of those things. I need those three things. And it's like, if I don't have it, then I can't give any of myself to Kadero or even to you guys. So I think it's something that you just have to, you know, stay prayed up, worship God, stay in the word and allow him just to pour into you, mm -hmm. you know, and then you can pour into other people. So that's mainly what we do, to be honest, is just fill ourselves up with the word and then, you know, make sure that we're spending that time with each other. Because like in the beginning, uh, we were so excited to get like all the comments and yeah. the likes and all of that stuff that we found ourselves here, like on the mm -hmm. phone all the time. And we noticed like there was a moment that I was like, whoa, like we haven't talked in like, mm -hmm. you know, a long time. It feels like a long time. Mm -hmm. So it's like now we've kind of created those boundaries where it's like, okay, we're not going to have phones while we're eating. Like, we're mm -hmm. not going to, you know, we're going to carve out times to make sure that we're spending them with each other and not just always glued to the phone or glued to social media or worried about work because that's a whole nother situation when we're working together now because it's like, when do you cut it off, right? <laughs> so I'm like, we had to set those boundaries as to, okay, we need to cut it off. We need to set boundaries. And then that way we can have each other in a normal space outside of work that, you know, will work for it for us mm. that's good we had to I had to write that down we had you gotta have boundaries like yeah you're right because i can see how especially like you said you just in the phone like yep. comments and yep. you might seem connected but it's like we're actually disconnected because yeah. we're so connected to the phone so yes oh i love that's that you hard. said that mm -hmm. it's, somebody it's, said that's a word mm -hmm. <laughs> boundaries. <Ain't it>? <laughs> <laughs> so let's go back to the beginning you two have been married for 11 years almost 12 in june right yes yep <laughs> now apparently from based on my research oh, Lord. you all have <laughs> each other since middle school okay then you officially started dating during his last year in high school then you dated through college i said woo child because 
there is nobody from my college years that I <laughs> don't even. But, and then, it is saying about me. And then you got yeah. married four years later. So I want to know, what was it that made you finally realize, like, when did you, when do you think you knew that Kadera was the one? But also, like, was there ever a time, especially during college, that you kind of felt like, I don't know, this might be a little shaky. I don't know if we're going to make it. You know what? I never thought that we weren't going to make it, like, during mm -hmm. his college years. I always knew. And the, the interesting thing is, like, it's been interesting to see Kadero grow from middle school to those college years, right? So I've seen the growth, and I've seen the maturity. <clears throat> and it's one of those things. So we actually dated his ninth grade year, my sophomore year, probably for, I don't know, like, a month or two. So we don't really count that as right. much. You know, that was younger. That's why um, I didn't put it in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, his last year of um, high school, we got together and I actually asked him to lunch one day. Mm -hmm. And it was one of those things like he was my friend. And I think mm -hmm. that that is just so important when going into any, you know, marriage or relationship is to have that foundation. Mm -hmm. So he was like my friend from the beginning. And it was one of those things where we started off young communicating. Like, even mm -hmm. in college, I was like, Kadero, look, I'm going to be real with you, and I need you just to be real with me, you know? And if there are moments where you feel like you may give in or not mm -hmm. be able to stand strong, communicate that with me, and we'll take a break, maybe come back later. Like, we just needed to be open and honest with each other. So it was <laughs> those things where one time he was honest, but mm -hmm. not fully, mm -hmm. and... You know, that's when Facebook kind of came out and the evidence was on Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, let's 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 evaluate this really quick. Let's see what this looks like. And so it was one of those things where I was like, look, I just need you to be open and honest with me. So it was one of those things that he was. And mm -hmm. it was just, I knew at that moment that like, okay, if he can go through college and be okay with all the temptation, all the skinny jeans and the booty shorts, like <laughs> something we can work with here <laughs> so it was honestly just one of those things that like I trusted him and he trusted mm -hmm. me and I honestly I mean because it does work both ways like mm -hmm. I could have been at home while he was at college yeah acting a fool as well yep. so it was trust just on both ways and I think that it was one of those things that like I said earlier like we had our individual spiritual life mm -hmm. and it was one of those things where I was always always talking to God when it came to Kadero because I had dated other people like before Kadero people were like y'all must have been together forever like did y'all date anybody else and I was like yeah those in between years like mm -hmm. we were dating other people and I knew what I wanted and I knew what I wasn't putting up with anymore and Kadero was that like he was the person mm -hmm. that I wanted he didn't play games he showed a sign of maturity and it was something I took to God and I was like, God, like, if this is the one, I, I need you to continue to give me a piece about it. Show me or reveal any red flags of things that I may not be seeing right now because I don't want to see them. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, you know, just show me. And it was just this piece that I had. Mm -hmm. And when I looked and I reflected about the type of man that I wanted to be with, the type of father figure that I wanted my kids to look up to, like the, the relationship that he had with God. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, check, 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 check. Like, we good. So it was just one of those things. I had a piece of knowing. And and after he actually did a program called Semester at Sea, where he toured uh, and literally circled the globe. Yeah. And it was one of those things that, like, when he came back, I always joke on him because I was like, you literally went around the world and you didn't find anybody else but me. So I'm here. Let's make things official, you know, because I'm like, why else waste time? At that point, we had been together for four years. So I was like, we know what we want. And it was just one of those things. It was it was a piece about it that I had. So we moved forward. <laughs> What's the song say? Searched all over. Sing it, Shonda. I find nobody. I looked, looked high and low. Uh -huh. Still what? Still couldn't find <laughs> nobody. <laughs> nobody great. Thank you, This Lord. is what I'm saying. About to take me in. That's what I'm saying. I love that you said I was always talking to God when it came to Kadero because that is what we miss sometimes. Now, I'm going to be honest. I was mm -hmm. talking to God um, like you were, Hope, mm -hmm. but uh, I would ignore sometimes. Yeah. Not when I met my husband, but 
pretty much everyone before him. Yeah. It's like I was ignoring. It's like, Lord, send me the signs. And then he'd send him like, boom, lightning. Yeah. Oh, I don't think yeah. that was it, God. Right. That wasn't a clear sign. Yeah, I need a, I need it a little more clear. Okay. Right. Drop a drop a message in your Facebook yeah. message or your, your text. Ah, oh, well, right. I'm trying to make some <laughs> it was too much. So I yeah. just love that you said I was talking to God. Like you went to God about mm -hmm. it because that's so important. It's like that's the number one thing I tell women. It's like, did God tell you He was the one? Absolutely. And you got to be careful because a lot of people talk giving God credit for stuff that He didn't have anything to do with it. You so, then give Him a bad rep because it don't work. That won't God. <laughs> that won't God at all. Because if I hear somebody else say one more time, I mean, I think the Lord wants me to work. I don't. Mm -mm. That ain't it, sis. Like, that's not it. But I know because I was that girl. So I'm only speaking from my experience. But I'm like, I know. Yeah. That ain't God. God is yeah. the God of order and peace, not of yes. confusion. So yes. I'm so glad. And you, like you were saying, you had a relationship. So you know what the Lord looks like to you. You know yeah. how he shows up. You know how he speaks to you. If you don't mm -hmm. spend time with him, you don't have that relationship with him, it will be kind of hard because you like, I don't know if that's from God or not. But right. because you already had that foundation, yep. you knew. So, oh. Uh, and I think that's, that's just like any relationship. Like even the relationship with my physical father. I know his voice because I spend time with him, right? So it's like if we don't spend time with my dad and it's been like 30 years, then I don't know what his voice sounds like. So it's hard to hear like, yeah, that's that's him speaking. So you got to have the relationship in order to recognize the voice. <laughs> that part. It's, it's as simple as that. Yeah. And that's such a great transition because I wanted to talk about intimacy and create because that's what that's what we're basically talking about is that intimacy with with God and with your spouse. And mm -hmm. um, I love this quote that you had on your page. You said one thing that makes a relationship great is the ability and willingness for each individual to be emotionally open and vulnerable. I like mm -hmm. to call it like emotionally and intimately woke in a sense mm, mm -hmm. um when you think back to those early years compared to now mm. how has the intimacy between you two like how has it grown and evolved over because especially when i think i mean we're talking high school and now you all are yeah. good and grown so like how has that evolved over the years yeah i think it's interesting because like you evolve as a person, right? So mm -hmm. it's one of those things that Carol and I, like you said, like we did know each other in, in middle school, high school, whatever. And so as you grow and as you mature and as life happens, more things happen to you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what we were dealing with in high school per se is not the level of things that we're dealing with right. now. So like there comes more um, trust that needs to be established. Mm -hmm. There becomes more vulnerability there becomes more especially when you get married like you are not you, this is it like I need you to accept me all of me and so it's one of those things that it's like when we look at that person and we take and accept all of them and they're not afraid to show us all of them because like we say for better or for worse I'm accepting Kadero in all of his all of his glory if you will mm -hmm. so it's like the bad the ugly and it takes him being vulnerable with me to even share that side with me mm -hmm. and it's like you have to create that space in which we have gotten to now of no matter what you say to me i'm here for you no matter what you tell me there's nothing you can tell me that will take me out of this situation right now that i don't know how we could move past it mm -hmm. so it's one of those things that like as life grew our situations and our vulnerability grew because life gives you more as you evolve. And so we had to be vulnerable with each other and share our dark side, share our mm -hmm. fears and what we're afraid of. And even if that's, you know, saying I'm, I'm fearful right now and I don't have faith or, you know, I need you to pray for me in this situation because yes. I'm struggling in this situation. Like, that has grown us. And it's been mm -hmm. one of those things that it's been beautiful to see because we weren't talking like that when we were 14 and 15. Right. You know? <laughs> so it's like, we didn't know what, what we were doing, to be honest. So it's one of those things that it's just great to see now that like there's been such a bond created. There's been such a trust created um, because we're able to be open with even deeper things than ever before. So mm, that's good. I love, like you said, 14, you just like, I mean, I like you. You like me? Yeah. I like you. And that's about <laughs> as deep as it goes. Like, <laughs> Right. But when you're going through this, right, it's surface. 
even during the panoramic, you got to like really, you know, with all this we're going through as black people and black women and black mm -hmm. men and everything that we're seeing, it's like, you have to be, like you said, you gotta have to create that safe space so that yeah. if your husband, if my husband wants to open up and talk, and sometimes I think, I don't know if you've experienced this, but do you feel like sometimes you can sense it, especially with men sometimes, mm -hmm. not all the time, but with men, they're a little more reluctant, but it's almost like, if I can even initiate the conversation, then yeah. he'll start to open up. He may not yeah. like start it, but yeah. I'll be like, something on your mind? And he'll be like, how you know? Cause I know yep. you, cause- This is what I'm saying. And that's, that's exactly what it is. I mean, it was probably like a few days ago, I'm like, Kadera, what's on your mind? And he's like, what do you mean? Like, I see your wheels turning. Like, I can see something happening. What's on your mind? And I think one thing that I always, like, want to encourage women, I mean, anybody, but especially women, like, allowing that safe space. Because so many times there have been, and I mean, I've been guilty of this as well, you know, they want to express and they want to say certain things. But if we're just going to, you know, open up and snap and be like, oh my gosh, why would you say that? Or how did this happen? Or whatever, whatever. Yes. Like, they're not going to want to come to us with any information. So mm -hmm. even though I may be boiling on the inside, <laughs> it's like... <laughs> bring it together and let him get out what he wants to get out without mm -hmm. the fear of, I can't tell her because I don't know how she's going to react. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to tell her because I don't know how she's going to react. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things that I've learned, like even from even the beginning to now, it's like creating that safe space where they feel as though they can come to you and say mm -hmm. something without repercussions in that moment. So it's like, I mean, of course, we ain't going to let them just slide with anything. You're like, right. there's going to have to be a conversation, but at least allow the space for them to come and, and feel like they can freely be open with you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Somebody said facts and that she <laughs> loves Coco. I'm thinking that's Coco. She said, OMG, I love hearing about this. I do too, girl. I love talking about it. Um, Kind of in the same realm of intimacy and almost like, kind of intimacy tied with other things like mm -hmm. you said one day about like keeping it spicy i think someone had asked you um on one of the videos you all did like how to keep it spicy and sexy in the marriage which mm -hmm. you know to me you know there's intimacy and then there's sexuality and you know they go together but sometimes you know they have mm -hmm. they have different chapters but you said first know what you like and what you want and I think that's so important, especially for us as women, because we've been conditioned to be all about like, what does a man want? Even when it comes to him opening up or sexually or just physically, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I love that you said like, know what you like and know what you want. Mm -hmm. um, how open would you say you are when it comes to telling your husband like what you want, what you like, what you need? Like, are you pretty yeah. open? Have you, now, you always comfortable or did it take some time? I'm sure it, it was a little easier because you've known each other for so long. Yes. Now I'm comfortable with saying, I need this or I want this or maybe mm -hmm. we should try it this way or I want you to do X, Y, and Z, right? Yes. Before, no, I wasn't comfortable at all because like you said, it was one of those things I was always looking to please, right? Or looking mm -hmm. to give or looking to always have that, what does he want? And mm -hmm. it's not that we're selfish in that moment, but it's like, it's not fair to them either to think that they, you know, just great. And it's like, well, now you're sending me mixed signals because, you know, you're not saying anything, but mm -hmm. I can sense like it's weird or like something. So it's just kind of one of those things that I have learned to be open. Mm -hmm. First of all, be honest with myself. Like, Hope, what do you want? Because mm -hmm. it's impossible for him to know what I want if I don't clearly even know <laughs> what okay. I want, right? Okay. <laughs> so I have to figure out what do I want? What do I like? And it's one of those things, even in the bedroom, like, we'll try it. If it didn't work or I don't like it, I'll tell him. That wasn't it, you know? <laughs> we need to yeah. try something else because that wasn't it. Um, but I think it's just one of those things <laughs> because <laughs> we've been together for so long, Shonda, to be honest. Like, we've been together for so long that, like, nothing surprises us anymore. Like, yes. nothing is, like, like, we can just, like, even last night we had a conversation and it was one that, you know, people don't talk about in church. I'll just put it that way. But it was one of those things that it was just, like, let's just talk about it. Like, what, there's no, nobody's getting hurt. Nobody's getting harmed. It's an open, honest conversation. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what makes it so great is when you can be open with that person. Mm -hmm. And it just shows, like, I trust you with this information that you're going to receive what I'm putting out and we're going to just have fun with it. So 
I'm here now, but honestly, when we first started, it it mm -hmm. was like me just trying to please him or figure out what he wanted and not really even taking inventory of what Hope wanted. So mm. I yeah. love that. And like, I'm so here for this conversation because like you were saying about church, like sometimes we can be conditioned, even the stuff we learned in church, but even these types of conversations with wives, like we knew people who were married, some of us, but you didn't really know. You just was like, Right. I guess that's what you do as a wife. Like nobody was really talking about marriage and what that means or that he gets on your nerves sometimes, you know, <laughs> but you still love him. Like I love right. that video when right. he was like, he annoys you. Yes. Like let's talk about this stuff yeah. and how we annoy each other. Get on mm -hmm. his last nerve. But yeah. <laughs> I love that. But I feel like it's, if you, if for a woman that's struggling with that, that's struggling with being open, because I'm sure there's so many m women like that. Yeah. Like, is that your advice to them to just kind of like figure out what they want? But then it's like, how do they communicate that to their husband? Because I yeah. feel like I was like you with that journey. Now I'm fine. I'm mm -hmm. like, ah, that ain't yeah. gonna work. The transition of it all is too yeah. much. Too much work. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's one of those things you have to know, like, you're not going to go from zero to 100. You're not going to just be like, oh, I just want to please him. I don't know what I want to. Baby, this is what I want. Like, it is a process. And I think it's one of those things that it was piece by piece. And it's one of those things that, you know, I would kind of tread lightly and say, like, oh, maybe we should, you know, try this. Or I would even ask him, like, is there anything you want to try to kind of start that open dialect of, okay, well, maybe if I ask him, then maybe he'll ask me and that'll make me feel a little bit more comfortable because now the conversation's already started as far as we're talking about what we want now. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just like little ways that you can, even if you just ask them and, mm -hmm. or even if you start small and be like, hey, we should just try this. Mm -hmm. And it could be something that's not as drastic as maybe you would 20 years into marriage or whatever, but start small with whatever small mm -hmm. is to you you know, sexually. I don't, I don't know people's limits on here. Right. So whatever small is to you, just start, <laughs> just start small <laughs> and then it'll build and you'll get more comfortable and you know, yeah, it's just levels to it. It's mm -hmm. levels to it. <laughs> That's good. I'm so, cause I know whoever listens to this now and even in the replay, like, I just feel like someone's going to be thinking like, and this might, I'm hoping that this will hopefully like open the door for someone to feel liberated and empowered to speak up for themselves. Yes. You know, whether it's wanting to talk more, whether it's wanting something different in the bedroom, I just hope that someone is like liberated and empowered by yeah. that. Cause yeah. I just love it. Somebody, somebody said, don't start with swinging from the chandelier. This Let's is what I'm this. saying. There's levels. There's levels. I don't, don't even start have off chandelier. Swinging. Yeah. It's, <laughs> If I try to swing from the ceiling fan, someone's gonna get hurt. Yeah, and it's coming out the. I mean, it's coming out the ceiling. <laughs> it, I'm I'm a, I'm a sturdy girl. It, it's coming out the ceiling. It's you know your limits. You just gotta know your limits. Know your you limits. Know, maybe start with I don't know an outfit, or you could start with something a a toy. Yeah, I don't know. You know that's what I said. I don't know people's limits, but whatever <laughs> is is small or a book. Maybe y'all could read a book about it. Mm -hmm, get some mm -hmm. ideas or something. I don't know. Yeah, but there's there's ways to start small. <laughs> there are ways. You know that's so funny you mentioned that because when as soon as you said outfits, I was thinking lingerie mm. because when I first got married, I thought, oh, I need to buy lingerie all the time. So, no, you better recycle that stuff. Yeah, and it's only gonna be on for about five seconds. Like I do like to go and buy a nice little piece. Like for Valentine's, I got me some new Savage Fenty, and it was cute. Oh, yes, nice. honey, and it was purple. Oh, what? <laughs> We can talk about that outside, but I love that. Yes, but yeah, like you, it's like if you don't want to buy lingerie all the time, because it's most of some a lot of guys. I don't, I can't speak for a lot of guys, but my husband, he's mm -hmm. like, uh, I'm fine if you got it on. He could really, he couldn't care less because yeah, he's like, as yeah. long as you naked in about yeah. five ten minutes. It doesn't really matter. Now, Kadero's the opposite. Now, Kadero mm -hmm. will actually be the one to buy me lingerie. Because I'm like, oh, you know, I'm good with a bra and some, some underwear, right? But I'll get a package at the door. And I'm like, well, what is this? <laughs> well, we got this one. What is this? <laughs> so then I open it. And look, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I'm like, you want me to put this on? Or... <laughs> So we have actively been working on that. And honestly, it has built my confidence. And I think yes. it's one of those things that like, 
he loves to see it and of course like you said it only lasts like two minutes like yeah, yeah. it don't it don't stay on long right it don't stay on long it don't but it's something about visually like mm -hmm. men of course are visual so he yes. likes it and so i'm just like all right well you know mm -hmm. i'll wear it if yeah i spend I, the money exactly <laughs> i kind of feel like i wear lingerie more so for myself because you know, especially if you're tired and weary and you're something, you just might, it, it peps me up. I'm like, all right, yeah. now get it, get into it, girl. Yes. <laughs> now, there are certain pieces that I'm like, yes, I want to wear this. And then there are certain pieces I'm like, nah, that is, because <laughs> I know my body, you know? And there's some things I just personally don't want to wear. Because it starts riding up and stuff, you know, it's just too much. It's too, too much. much. Yes. Uh, somebody said, I might be the only male. Well, welcome, Alex. He said, but I love my wife. Put on something nice so I can take it off. Well, we love, love to it. love your wife. And somebody yes. said, OMG, I thought I had to wear lingerie all the time. Only because no, no one talks. Exactly. Again, like, no we one said anything. so much stuff. Yes. Nobody was having these conversations. But mm -hmm. that's why we're here. This is why we have why I'm going down. This is why we have hope and every day with HK. Because now, like, we are keeping it real about Absolutely. marriage and about what it takes to be and what that looks like for different people so right. like you know you don't have to say everybody's relationship goes because like you are relationship goes like Absolutely. whatever your relationship is and it's like let's be honest about like you said in the very beginning like marriage gets a bad rep sometimes i'm like mm -hmm. i'm having the time of my life yeah <laughs> <laughs> and clearly you are all are too absolutely so. mm -hmm. fun and games over here Exactly. Not all the time, but most of the time. Oh, this has been amazing. Okay, so now are you ready for some funny, fun, rapid fire questions? Yes, love so you, it. Whatever the first thing that comes to your mind, okay, is how you shall respond. Okay, mm -hmm. are you ready? Yes. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay, first one. Which of these is closest to your love language? Now I didn't cover all of them, but okay. Um, Hubby cleaning the house, giving you a massage, buying you a gift, or him telling you how much he loves you? Give me a massage. <laughs> <laughs> I can get one every 30 minutes. Like, I love a good massage. Look, but I got to tell him sometimes, Shonda, I know this is supposed to be rapid, but um, no, sometimes he started doing this little one. And I'm like, what is, what is that? You know, that's when I can tell that he don't want that you know but then i'm like no okay and i gotta explain i want a good massage this time i want you to actually like put your heart and soul into it but yeah because these these i'm done with those so yeah massage me any day i love you sound just like me <laughs> you can you can tell i'm he'll, especially if it's like about five minutes and i'll just look at i'm like you know your heart went into that right me i'm turned <laughs> uh, <laughs> right he ain't want to do it. He wasn't mm -hmm. doing it. It's exactly. Fine. So yeah. it looks like y'all saying massage too. Yes, we love our yeah. massages. Yes, lady. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> PDA, here for it or not? I'm here for it. Me too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, within reason. Like, don't be slobbing me down. You know? <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. That that can be a bit much. But I, definitely kiss me in public. I don't care. Hug me. Yes. Slap my butt. Whatever you want to do. I'm here for it. <laughs> I love that video y'all made. I, I, listen, y'all be so relatable. The one where you was laying on the couch and you like scooted and scooted and booted. Okay, I love said, that. Yup. <laughs> yep. Yep. Just poke it out a little bit. Yep. Let me know. I feel it. <laughs> um, who takes longer to get ready? Kadero. Kadero takes the longest showers. He will sit up under the water for the first 30 minutes. I don't know what he's doing in there, but it's a moment. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he 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 takes longer to, mm -hmm. to get fully ready. That's yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Same that one yeah. right there. <laughs> um, I think I know the answer to this, but who's more likely to cook? Me. <laughs> I'm more likely to cook for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. <laughs> who's messier, you or him? Um. I feel like it's an equal lev level of messy because <laughs> I can actually get really messy in the kitchen, especially if I'm whipping it, whipping something up. You know what I'm saying? I don't put spices back right away, and he'll <laughs> he'll say that. But I mean, when we look around the house, it's an equal le level of messy around here. Mm -hmm. uh, we do 
keep a clean house though but there are days when TikToks get the best of us and, and the house has not been tended to so i'm like no stop TikToking. we need to Listen, clean <laughs> them like you said them TikTok. Some, sometimes i'm looking like i don't know how y'all put this together like <laughs> and it takes time yeah it takes time it takes time but well, y'all killing it so <laughs> Um, who's more likely to initiate cuddling? I will initiate cuddling hmm. for sure. Canaro is more initiating sex, probably. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm still working on it because he's told me that he likes for me to do that initiate. So I do, but it's, yeah. it's, 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 yeah, he, he's we about 60, 40 on that, but cuddling, yeah, we're that. about 80, 20. <laughs> I love that you differentiated it too. I initiate cuddling, he initiates yeah. sex. Yep, that's so when you put the two together, you know, right. it kind of works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that. Say less. I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> hair scarf on or off during sex? Oh, I've been trying to get better because it stayed on for a long time. And see, this is the thing. <clears throat> I have to always take into account that. It is not always about me because if it was always about me, I'd always wear my scarf. Like, I don't have time to be sweating it out, redoing it, mm -hmm. all of that stuff. Um, so it, we probably about <laughs> 70% scarf, 30% not scarf. Keep it real. But I'm telling you, but when I put this on, like, I feel like a new woman. You see what I'm saying? And then I start, you know, feeling myself a little bit. So I kind when I wear this, so I may have to keep it on tonight. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wasn't ready. I was when I put on this. <laughs> you see this right here? Yeah. He likes this too. Because it's so yes. different from the scarf. So we gotta spice it up that way and mm -hmm. and, and, and and show her a few times. Yep. I got a cute little <laughs> blonde wig in her. Yeah. Yeah. And I love ask, asking that question because that was another like marriage myth. People used to say like, "Don't no man want you uh, wear no scarf, but honey, he'll take it any time. He don't like, care. He don't care. He don't care about the scarf. He ain't looking at the scarf. <laughs> he'll call me little like, pizza man, little my pirate, husband, and he'll my still husband be in the happy. comments talking about yeah, keep it on. Yeah, he wants her tonight. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he would show he up right tonight. now. Lashes and hair. He right. Lashes. I don't know. Um, so let's see. Alex. Oh, okay, Alex. I'm going to get your question after I finish the wrap around. Um, <laughs> if you only had one choice, if you only had one choice, mm -hmm. which would you choose? Morning, day, or evening sex? Ooh. I would probably say evening. It's something okay. about, like, being at nighttime that makes me feel a little frisky. More yeah. frisky. <laughs> <You know? laughs> no. You know, have some nice wine or something. Like, I feel a little bit more frisky. But now, I will say recently, and this is probably TMI, we've been on the morning schedule. I don't know what that is. It, it's kick-started our days. So, we get a lot more done on them days. I don't know what's, what that's been about, but Listen. we're switching it up. <laughs> switching Listen. It up. Whatever works for you. Yeah. I like a little lunchtime afternoon delight. That's what yeah. I like. <laughs> well, I still have delight. energy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have some mornings. Yeah, morning. Oh, yeah. Listen, I'm a, the mornings, I, it's a struggle for Shonda. I mean, I can barely wake up in the morning. So let's <laughs> just, we'll just stop there. Yeah. Who's funnier, you or him? Ah. <sighs> probably would say myself but he would probably disagree um no but honestly I think we're different in our funny like he's more out with his funny yeah. where like I'm more like soft-spoken like sly comments type of funny yeah so I don't know I think it just depends on the atmosphere that we're in but he's he's probably more goofy and out he's definitely yeah. more outspoken and, you, and goofy you may I'm. be more like an Issa Rae funny yeah yeah we'll yeah. say that yeah uh -huh. yeah <laughs> We love us some Issa. Yeah. <laughs> now, okay, last one. Which TV uh -huh. wife do you relate to the most? Ooh. Claire Huxtable, the original Vivian from Fresh Prince, <laughs> Rochelle from Everybody Hates Chris, Ooh. or Rainbow from Blackish? Oh, that's a tough question. Um, <clears throat> who do I most identify with? Mm -hmm. Or who you feel is like, if you like, that's, I'm kind of like her. 
Um, I would probably say, <clears throat> in this case, the original Vivian. Mm -hmm. My reason being is because she knows how to act around certain people and in certain atmospheres, of course. Mm -hmm. But she would give it to you a little bit if she had to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So she was the classy with the sassy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Claire was kind of the same way, though, too. So I don't know. It's probably mixed up between those two. <laughs> yeah. She was the fist of ratchet. Mm -hmm. Somebody said rainbow. <laughs> right. Oh, Rainbow's we love Rainbow. We do love Rainbow. Rainbow. Was like, oh, she's her name fits so perfectly. Yeah, it does. Um, let's see. Who was that? Alex, thank you for your question. She said, when you guys do your TikToks for a few seconds video, great question. How long does it normally take you guys to edit and get it right? Ooh. <clears throat> to edit a TikTok, normally the editing isn't bad with TikTok because we can do kind of everything in that app at that one time. Now when we do like a live and we chop it up or if we do like a something other than TikTok, normally that can take probably like an hour or mm -hmm. two if we want to get, you know, because you got to think about inserting the font, the names, mm -hmm. cutting out stuff that you shouldn't have said to begin with, you know, and mm -hmm. you kind of have to watch it as well mm -hmm. to see, remember what you said. So um, it could take about an hour maybe mm -hmm. hour to two to edit our videos. Yeah. But I will say now I've gotten better because I used to do all the editing in the beginning. And now I have <laughs> graciously relieved myself of that and have trusted Kadero now with editing because mm -hmm. I was a controller in the beginning, to be honest. So mm -hmm. now that I've released that, it's cut my work in half. So I'm good. <laughs> like I'm flying free now. Yeah. <laughs> we good. <laughs> Somebody, Coco said, your personality is so bubbly, isn't it? Aw, thank you, just Coco. Love her. <laughs> That's a perfect segue to wrap up tonight, which has been everything Aww. and more. Thank it was you, so, I just appreciate these real conversations, the, just the transparency, the realness, like, and I, like I told you all, I just hope and pray that you see the fruits of all that you are giving to so many people. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that beautiful comment from the user earlier about having cancer and how you guys are just bringing light to her life. Like, that is what yeah. you guys are doing for us. And we want to support y'all however we can. So to that end, um, and you're welcome, Alex. To that end, grab your glasses, everyone. Drop Ooh. your wine glasses in the chat. And hope tell us um, what you're toasting to tonight. And then you can tell us Tell them how to follow you, what you got going on, whatever you want to tell yeah. people, how to follow you, all that stuff. But first, tell us, what are you toasting to tonight? I am toasting to all of the women on here for finding and keeping their voice, learning what they want from themselves and from their partner or future partner, and to great relationships and to keeping this wig on later tonight. <laughs> Yes. Because mm -hmm. that's, that's rare. So I'm a toast. That's a big one. <laughs> I can just say it. <laughs> yes, but you guys can follow uh -huh. us every day with H and K. It's, well, every day with HK is our handle. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, I don't know. MySpace, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> No, not not but uh yeah we're on every platform and we're just looking to make people laugh so mm -hmm. that's that's about our story in a nutshell yeah <laughs> but thank you for having us on well us you know he he made his appearance in the beginning but listen thank you I for got having a, me on i got a two for one tonight yeah. and Cadero, he's already waiting he said come through and aub81 said yes wig listen whether sure. you take it off or whether he takes it off as long as, listen, for y whatever's in y'all's house is in y'all's house, okay? <laughs> Love it. And I'm just so appreciative. <laughs> Thank you for your yes, because I know you stay booked and busy. And even mm -hmm. though you're not editing the videos, I know how much it takes to go. Because I just do one reel, and I'm like, whoo, child, I'm worn <laughs> out now. <laughs> so thank you for your yes for everyone who tuned in tonight. Thank you so much. Again, if you missed the beginning, y'all know I got y'all because I'm going <laughs> to post the replay right after this. I highly suggest that you check out the beginning, but not just the beginning, the whole replay, share, <laughs> tell a friend, because these are the types of conversations that 
we live for and that helps encourage and empower people with life and love real talk so i'm so appreciative we will be back um the week after next and um make sure you tell share a friend i feel like i'm forgetting to tell y'all something because i'm just so excited <laughs> about tonight <laughs> but it's just been such a pleasure and uh -huh. i just appreciate the laughter because we all need that right now yeah. it's just the, it's it's a heavy burden right now with so much yep. going on. So yep. I appreciate the laughter. I appreciate all of you all who are here, whether you're single, married, make sure you um, check us out. Check out the replay. It'll be available on my IGTV right after this. And to you, Hope, I will send you nothing but love and blessings. And I love Thank what you, you toasted to tonight and about Thank us you. just being open and being true to ourselves and communicating our needs and our wants. So yes. to that Thank end, you. thank y'all, everybody. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Aww. Take care. Aww. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Thanks.